It's Friday. Oh, what a dismal, depressing and damp day it has turned out to be. Boys and girls, I couldn't even, couldn't even let the girls out to play. Uh, a slightly different vlog for today. I'm going to show you the developments in the in the boathouse garden, uh, which is actually coming on bonkersly, stunningly well. But there is a question I have now, which I think really needs addressing. And it stems from something about a guy who had a YouTube channel or two, and I say had because um, a couple of days ago, whoa, windy and wet. A couple of days ago, apparently, with no warning or notice, YouTube suspended, stroke, killed his two channels. The guy's name is Craig, his channel is Craigtube. And it probably won't mean very much to a lot of people, but he, he did sort of like odd musicy bits. But more importantly for me, as it's one of my interests, he, he did a lot of stuff around home brewing. Completely innocuous. There was no porn, no swearing, no fingering kittens, um, no, you know, decapitating sheep or anything like that. Just uh, odd bits about homebrew. He didn't fucking swear much, uh, and generally was was just like probably about my age, Canadian guy, and YouTube. And again, I'll put a link to his video from another of his channels underneath just so you can see what his side of the story is but YouTube for apparently no reason just scrapped his channel I was worried about these spring onions but they seem to actually be doing something now as do these radishes but there's not a lot underneath they're not really swelling up anyway the tomatoes are doing all right so why is this a problem Craig Tube has been around for about 14 years. I can't remember when I first set my YouTube channel up. It probably wasn't, wasn't a lot different a year ago. And he has no idea. And again, wow, those radishes aren't doing too bad. He has no idea why they've pulled his channel. He's actually quite upset about it. And I'm actually quite upset about it as well, because if it can happen to him, it could happen to me or any of us. Now, all right, you know, I haven't got that many sort of like interesting videos on here. I think the main one that, that people like is where I, where I put a video up about fixing your KitchenAid mixer. <laughs> but during lockdown, I've tried to put things up just, just to be a little bit, a bit more interesting. I occasionally have a little bit of a rant. I occasionally sort of swear. Um, you know, it happens. That's, that's, that's how my life is. But is my channel at risk? Is your channel at risk if you've got a YouTube channel? I don't know, you know, realistically, there's no redress. And YouTube, it's worth remembering, are owned by Google. And you remember Google's strap line about not doing any evil, don't be evil, all that sort of stuff? Well, how does that kind of like fit in with just terminating someone's fucking hell, it's windy, someone's YouTube channel? I don't get it. I, I mean, could they, could they terminate my channel? Cause, because our, our dear little Polly, hello Polly darling, uh, I love that look you've got in your eyes, sweetheart. I have to admit, it is rather alluring. Um, <laughs> one day, one day, one day. Uh, would they would they censure me? Because poor Polly's wearing handcuffs. Um, as is Florence, actually, aren't you, darling? Florence has got handcuffs and a collar on too. It's all right. I'm 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 building a. I'm building a video up about consent for one of my other lectures, but it doesn't matter. But, but would YouTube censor me for that? I don't know. So where's this accountability? Google, if you're not gonna be evil, 
Where's your accountability and who are you accountable to? Well, the answer kind of is nobody. And anybody who watches YouTube or anybody who creates content for YouTube, all you're doing essentially is giving YouTube the ability to flog advertising. So you're not actually a customer, you're a product. I'm a product. The fact that you're watching this now makes me a product and you a product. And there'll probably be an advert before it, during it, after it, whatever. I don't know. Now, that raises a question about do YouTube actually have any responsibility toward their users? Or are we just consumables that once we have then fulfilled our function can be chucked in a bin, cast aside? Now, this not only raises questions for Google and YouTube, this raises questions about Facebook, about Twitter, about multinational corporations who have no accountability. If your government fucks you over, you can get the fuckers out next time you put your cross in a box. If your local sandwich shop starts doing your short measures of cheese in your body, you can tell them to fuck off and you can take your business to somewhere else. But companies such as Google have as near a monopoly as it's possible to get with no accountability to their users. Think about this for a moment. Think about the outrage that the world is currently expressing because of what China has just done in Hong Kong. China has just unilaterally enforced a law to repress the people of Hong Kong against an agreement that China made with us 23 odd years ago that the people of Hong Kong would maintain their current status for 50 years. Now ask yourself this. Are the actions of YouTube and Google any different in terms of what they've done to this guy's YouTube channel, Craig's Tube, Craig Tube, uh, to his YouTube channel. Is there a difference? I don't think there is because applying force with no accountability, no transparency and no responsibility is evil. Google. So Google do evil and that should worry us all because we're all tied into this shit we're all fucked up by all these hundreds of pages of terms and conditions that nobody reads before clicking I agree and that is the get out of jail card that like sort of Google Facebook Twitter and all the others will use to do whatever the fuck they want, whenever the fuck they want, and fuck you and fuck me, because we aren't consumers, we are the product, and we're disposable. And that, I think, is probably about it for this Friday vlog, because it's actually, it's not really very summery, given that it's, um, it's currently the 3rd of July, I should be um, taking the opportunity to get me bum burnt in the sun, but don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, sorry if that's a little bit of a rant about the, um, the unaccountability and the lack of respect that YouTube and Google have for their content providers, but I do think it's important that we address this. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, it, it worries me significantly. I do hope that there's a change of heart when it comes to Craig Tube, because what has happened, if we're to believe Craig, and I've no reason to disbelieve him, what has happened is wrong. And Google stroke YouTube, it falls into the category of evil. So that's it for today, boys and girls. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have a bit of sunshine. Tomorrow's the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day to my American friends who aren't cunts. Uh, and um, for my UK, or English, I should say, because it doesn't apply in Scotland. 
uh, or Wales or Northern Ireland. In England, pubs are reopening tomorrow. If you're going out to the pub tomorrow, stay safe, don't get too pissed. Be respectful to the staff, be respectful to security. Uh, they're there trying to earn a living. Uh, don't make their life any worse than it has to be. Stay safe, everyone. Have a good weekend.